Olympics, right? Uh, I believe so. Okay. I haven't actually been uh, right, yeah. looking at stream. All right, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, other side of the loser's quarters. We have Doombot and Death Star, P2W boys, versus Rosalina, I believe I saw, and I'm not sure who his partner is. Crescent? Crescent. 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 He's from North Carolina. Oh, really? Yes. Any means for you. Okay, so we have former Georgia, or now Kansas and Florida, <laughs> versus um, NC. I'm, I'm sorry he's not going. Oh, okay. Ryu is. <laughs> I love the color, like black and black and red. Oh, yeah, it's black awesome. and red is amazing. And, ye and ye oh, black yellow. Black and yellow, yeah. Black, black, black and yellow, yellow black, black and yellow. yellow. <laughs> All right, we already know what's coming on. We already knew what it was. Anyways, enough with the puns. Into this game one. Um, I'd imagine town and city would not be the choice for, okay, yeah, Battlefield it is. Before I can even finish. Definitely favorable for both these characters, I believe. Uh, Rosalina and Cloud, obviously, two of the best uppers in the game. Uh, oh, never mind. This is not the stage. All right. I apologize for that. Yeah, I think they misclicked. Yeah. Maybe they were trying to butt tech, you know. You know. Well, anyways, uh, if you're just not tuning into the stream, welcome to Type of House Games here at Final Round 20. Uh, 20 long years of success and game stories to be told. Uh, if you're not here today, then uh, you're definitely missing out on a treat. You know, we have more than just Smash here. We have all the FGC games you can think of under the sun. Blaze Blue, Brawlhalla. Of course. Uh, the for the Glory, what is it? For, something? for Honor. Oh, for okay. Honor. oh for yeah. Honor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, of course, the classics, Marvel, Street Fighter. We got it all here. But anyways, back to Smash. We have FD as a start. And, uh, this is an interesting choice. Um, I think it's a neutral stage, you know. I feel like it might be in red team's red favor just a little bit. I I actually disagree. I, I think it is a pretty neutral choice as neutral is going to get. Um, but I feel like, you know, both characters on blue team, they generally just want to wall out Ryu as much as possible. Um, and Cloud, obviously known for being able to just absolutely murder Luma uh, without even really needing to commit to anything. Is that going to be dead Ryu? No, nice tech there. He's going to live. Yeah, I, I guess you're right, because blue team is putting on a lot of pressure, a lot of damage on the red team so far. Oh, yeah. They have the space to move backwards in case they need to, which I think is really, really effective against Ryu and uh, Rosalina to an extent, because you force her to commit Luma out there, lest it, you know, lest she just not hold stage control. And as we can see here, blue team off to a wonderful start. Maybe going a little too hard to paint, but it's going to get that back and clear that out anyway. All right. Yeah, I guess they're right because like blue team, but just like you know, they're staying in this spot, they're just pushing them out. You know? Oh yeah. Now here's the thing. Um, Death Star is superb at just holding stage control and making sure he has a wall so that Cloud can just stay threatening behind him. It's really, really, really hard to get by. But we see that red team is they're, <laughs> they're trying to fight back, but it's, it's, it's you can see the walls coming out here um, and. <laughs> As you yeah, see I feel right like there, they're, getting, like, they're getting a little um, um, impatient, and they're just you know throwing out hitbox. They're just getting a little. Oh, Ooh, no. oh wow, that, that may be death. Wow, that chill break was. Oh no, oh. A little, a little <laughs> right? That's the thing. Um, as you're saying, they they may be getting a little bit impatient. Well, well more like a nervous, like you no, know, like they want to you know they want to end this stock. They want to bring it back. Ooh, I know oh, another chill break. Oh yeah, I I I agree, but I feel like the the biggest difference between red team and blue team right now and why I think FD may be slightly in their favor is that there's so much less commitment from blue team naturally just because of how much range both these characters have. So Ryu is going to have to work his way in and Rosalina is not necessarily known for being an aggressive character. Mm -hmm. So Rosalina is generally going to want to sit back and just let do Luma do her bidding. But both these characters have a, yeah, that's, that's, that's the stock. Uh, both these characters have enough range to challenge Luma while staying safe. And it also happens to work against Ryu too, you know. You get hit once from Ryu, you take 16%, but you can't hit me if I'm halfway across the stage the entire time. It's just walling you out. And I feel like FD really gave them the room mm -hmm. to be able to do that and to uh, maximize that game plan as much as possible. And we see the switch to... <laughs> oh, wow, okay. He plays the same characters as me. So we, just, we see the switch to Mega Man. I respect the choice. Um, now, this team, Mega Man Rosa, is, <laughs> uh, it's got some gimmicks up its sleeve. Oh, yeah. You know, you've seen with Neo, so I don't know. Oh, you yeah, know, yeah, you yeah. Know the I, I'm interested to see if they have any other gimmicks coming out here. And we have the run to Battlefield. Not a bad choice, I'd imagine. Uh, both these characters have really safe up air pressure. And instead of having to chase these characters, um, the opposite is going to be displayed here, I'd imagine. Mega Man, pellets, up airs, projectiles. It's just going to wall them out. 
as much as he possibly can. All right. Well, the, the game is definitely more even than it was in you know, the first game. So. Oh, yeah. Rosalina kind of having trouble. And I, I feel like that's the struggle for Rosalina in doubles. It's not necessarily a prevalent problem in singles, but in doubles, because her frame is so large and she's so light, it's and really... And too. Oh, yeah. And it's, it's like... It takes like like twice the time to recover. Oh, yeah. It takes forever for her to get down. And it's when she loses stage control, it hurts. Uh, a lot of the time, she's going to be up there for a while or off stage for a while because she has to position herself perfectly to not get hit by anything. All right, but... Oh, so, yeah. But, but red teams only have combos, you know, using the back throw with the bear combo. Oh, right yeah. Right and we see, like, we see the obvious switch in stage control coming out just because uh, Mega Man's projectiles are kind of just saying, hey, you can't just play this walling out game. If you're retreating, I'm just throwing more projectiles. You have to deal with me. So I, I, I definitely like the switch. Uh, Battlefield also helping out. Ooh, and a nice spike there. It's going to punish that overextension for the side B. Yeah, that's going to do it. All right, Sox definitely uh, gone back to even. Oh, that was super scary. I like the mix-up there from Death Star. Risky, but ended up working out for him. Uh-oh. We have the up air train started. Lucina cornering Mega Man. And that's what makes it really, really scary. I, I actually find Lucina as one of the best ledge trappers in the game, along with Marth. It's really, really hard to get off the ledge against her, or at least get your back away from the ledge. Um, retreating forward air just covers everything. Uh, most characters can do. You can't really punish it, and it just sends you back off stage into a prime position to be edge guarded again. But as we see here, blue team and red team pretty much even uh, until that backer. Yeah, red team uh, has advantage so right now. Up an extra stop. Oh yeah. Oh, right, but that cloud side be cloud be uh, killing off Luma. Oh yeah, and I like the usage of Leaf Shield there by Crescent. Uh, definitely, I feel like a really underrated tool for Mega Man mains, uh, especially in doubles. A lot of times, if you get it up, uh, you threaten to get the entire stage back if they don't deal with you. Like, literally walking forward with Leaf Shield and just holding Shield. Uh, ooh, yeah, that's dead, Mega Man. And reacting is will get you stage control back for free. And if they don't want to commit, you don't have to commit either. You just throw the Leaf Shield. Up to, not going to do it here. All right, more damage. Hmm. Okay, so one thing I want to actually ask your opinion on is uh, what do you think Rosalina's good throws are for doubles? I know you've uh, um, played her in the past, so. Yeah, I, back, like pretty much up throw. Up throw, because you can just let the point your, your teammate come off. Even I feel all, all her throws are pretty good, though. Right. Like just down throw, I would kind of, you know, kind of stay away from. But I feel every throw is, ooh. Oh, yeah, not the place uh, to pop Okay, but Rosalina lives. Surprisingly. So. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I, I agree with you. I was actually having a discussion with Neos as well. I feel like Rosalina's throws maybe aren't ideal for doubles just because, you know, a lot of good throws and doubles have hitboxes. You have Mario's back throw. You have Cloud's every throw, basically, except mm -hmm. down throw, I believe, that has a hitbox around it just to send players away. Wow, that upper is just going to knock yeah. any sense of advantage out of them. All right. Well, I guess they didn't want to take the stop, but I oh feel yeah, like kind of. But I guess I can understand because Rosalina, you know, is very light and very like, ooh, oh yeah, I'm getting the show break. Yeah, at that point, it may have been just may well just been worth it to just take the stock. Uh, this is looking pretty bleak right now. Yeah. Mega Man in two v ones. Uh, if your sandwich is if your sandwich, it's horrible. Is As you can see here, like the frame there, like not much to get it to get use to get back down. Is that oh what yeah. It is? Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Is he gonna tech? He's gonna tech. Okay, he makes it. Um, if you have more room than this, like Battlefield is a really small stage as far as the center stage goes, not necessarily the blast zones, mm -hmm. and not work, not having the room to retreat and work backwards is super scary. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Wow. But yeah, two v one situation that happened. That was as a wrap. I, I feel like you should have taken the stock, even though Mega Man's at like 140 percent. Mm -hmm. It's almost always worth it to better just, to have two people. Yeah, it's just better to have two people, even if you just do your best to live, because um, a lot of times it's it's really 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 easy and really quick to just whittle away that one person's stock as long as one person holds center stage uh you have to commit and any role that you throw out or any commitment that you make is liable to be punished mm -hmm. um so i think it's better to just take the risk and just get your partner back on stage and we have to run back to battlefield um what do you think changed last time because at early game blue team actually was losing that pretty solidly i just think the blue team like 
they just they have a better like kill power I feel like than than red team. Like it's more consistent because like like Tika can force smash, Falcon can just side B, you know, whatever he needs to do. But Rosalina and Megman they have to set up, you know, more than the blue team right. as far as like kills. I feel like that's like the main thing that, you know. Oh yeah, I agree with you. Definitely a lot more cross slashes landed near the end of that game. Um Yeah, I feel like yeah, red team is like more setup based, I feel. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh Mega Man actually has a trouble killing too. Uh, if he doesn't have the you know the patented Kamehameha combo, which is very hard to do in doubles because you need time to do it, uh, it's pretty hard to get stocks off before 80 or so. And we see the immediate switch and momentum from blue team just taking control of this game. All right, another up here. <laughs> Crescent kind of just staying there, not sure what to do. <laughs> and I mean, it, like I said, it's super scary. Literally just Lucina standing there, put on so much positional pressure from uh, Doombot. Can you press the button? Just retreating fairy. Like right there, you have to eat the shield break. Oh, yeah, and I even if you get grabbed, oh, oh my gosh, adding insult to injury <laughs> with the up air right there. The man's already dead, leave him alone. Yeah. I mean, the, what, what would you have done to it? Do you think grab was the best thing or do you think he should just let it go or what? Because it's like... It, <laughs> at that just, point, your best option is to literally just wait and hold them. Um, it's, it's Honestly, it's a pick your poison situation. Okay. Oh no, that's wow. gonna seal that out, and this is not looking good yeah, for a red team at all. That momentum shift, you know, getting the side B and then you know getting the the bike early on Rosina is very, you know, very unfortunate. Oh yeah. Um, but as I was saying earlier, if you get the grab, like if you, uh, you know, if your partner is there, then you take the trade if you know they're not gonna die. But otherwise, if you know you have somebody waiting in the background, just sit and hold it. Um, the best thing you can do is just trade damage. So hold shield or something like that? Yeah, and just hold shield. Partner, partner to come up? Okay. Yeah, it just, it just changes depending on what their percent is. If the person that you're grabbing is liable to die from getting hit by their partner, then, you know, go ahead and just hold them. Just wait. Mm -hmm. um, if not, then maybe it would be a better idea to throw. But this plays into what I was saying earlier with the weaknesses of Rosalina. Like, if, there was, if that was Mario, you can just back throw. And now right. your opponent has to respect you throwing them. The hitbox too. Yeah, and it's really, really hard to punish that with that hitbox around it. But Rosalina, not too much of a yeah, threat. Yeah, didn't have anything. Ooh, hard read on that roll is going to seal that stock. And again, we see the same situation. Um, I'm shocked that Crescent still isn't uh, getting share stock by his partner. Uh, yeah, this is where it's going to be really hard. Mega Man has to go to the ledge. And wow, that tech, tech on the another tech. That was very hard okay. tech. Yeah, that's gonna do it. Yeah, okay. I think you're right. They need to like share stocks. I guess because they feel like Rosalina will have a hard time two v one, but oh yeah, I feel they should. They definitely should like at least try it. You know. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna count Kristen out. <laughs> it's looking pretty bleak, but uh, you know, maybe this man can make some miracles. I feel like maybe he should try it as Ryu, because like Ryu probably would have worked better on the platform stage because he could uh, sure he can you know, for free and not be punished as hard. Um, but yeah, that's true. You like like you were saying earlier, they kind of lacked in the killing department this time around. Like Rosalina and Mega Man are great for stage control. Oh, that may be a dead cloud. Is that actually a dead? That's a dead cloud. Okay, well, Crescent <laughs> putting up a fight, you know, not giving up. Oh yeah, definitely not giving up. Trying to put on a show. Up to nope. Playing it safe by the ledge. Oh, Ooh, that puts oh, cool. oh, okay. Trying to force my this man's life away. Yeah, but what were you saying about Mega Man and Rosalina? Where, 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 where oh, they're great as far as stage control goes and uh, getting neutral uh, and holding neutral. But once they're knocked out of neutral, it's actually really hard for them to get back into it. Um, while they have it, they're, they're great. But without it, they're kind of eh. Yeah, they fall like apart said, a little bit. Set up too, because Black Cloud can just do that. And then you're yeah, and then you're in the blast zone. And now you're in a very bad position. Uh, will we see come out here? <laughs> no, nope, just going to wait okay, back okay. here. And I think he doubles on That may be it. Yeah, that's it. All right, and GG's and a handshake. Death Star and Doombot move on to the next.